From TriStar comes a stunning new film epic. The compelling true story of men from different worlds bonded by a war that threatened their nation. The story of the historic 54th Massachusetts Infantry and the man who led them to battle, Colonel Robert Gould Shaw. The story of the men who fought for freedom and found glory. Is it true? There's to be a colored regiment? So it seems. Then I am your first volunteer. They were inspired by Shaw to fight for one cause. They have risked their lives to be here. They have given up their freedom. They were torn apart by their different pasts. I am a free man, as was my father before me. Oh, you free me? Yes. Sir. Oh, good. Well, why don't you move your free black boy? Hold up, up damn up. Ain't okay. nobody said nothing to you, pap. It's all right. I'll be fine over here. Where about you from? Yeah, I'm around Tennessee. Yeah, I ran away when I was 12 years old. I ain't never looked back. Well, what you doing since then? I run for president. <coughs> I ain't win, though. <laughs> they were ordered to do the impossible. A good man can fire three aim shots in a minute. It is my job to get these men ready. Marching is probably all they'll ever get to do. And they gotta know that nobody's gonna let them fight. <laughs> they were forced to struggle for respect. You men enlisted in this regiment on the understanding that you would be paid the regular army wage of $13 a month. This morning I have been notified that since you are a colored regiment, you will be paid $10 a month. Colored soldiers stop a bullet just as good as a white And for less money, too. Yes. Yeah, yeah Uncle Abe got himself a real bargain here. If you men will take no pay, then none of us will. And they became united as one in their fight for freedom. For director Ed Zwick, award-winning creator of 30-something, and the director of the motion picture About Last Night, Glory was a film he'd been waiting to make. I've always been attracted to stories in which uh, you know, personal drama is played out against larger canvases. The production of Glory intrigued and brought together some of Hollywood's most talented actors, including Matthew Broderick, the star of Biloxi Blues, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and War Games. It's our heritage. It's, it's an American story. For Denzel Washington, fresh off his Academy Award nomination for Cry Freedom, this project was a revelation. I have to admit that I was somewhat ignorant of the fact that a lot of blacks, hundreds of thousands of blacks fought in the Civil War. After Morgan Freeman's celebrated work in Lean on Me and an Oscar nomination for Streetwise, he knew he wanted to make glory. Most of my professional life, I have wanted to do things uh, that involved American history. Actor Carrie Elways, whose work includes the comedy hit The Princess Bride, was excited by the possibilities the film presented. It's dealing with a, an issue that hasn't really been explored on film. I think the statements that it has to make will be important ones. Producer Freddie Field spent more than four years bringing this epic motion picture to the screen and always felt it had to be done. It's important to the young people of America to know what this is all about and still be entertained by it. The first challenge in making this epic was 19th century authenticity. Civil War historian Ray Herbeck Jr. was one of those who helped recreate the monumental battle scenes. I bring in thousands, sometimes, of reenactors who are members of living history groups, people that research and create their own impressions, as we call them, of uh, 19th century people. I want more disorganization. I want everybody kind of crouching. Like any epic scale motion picture, the special effects and stunt work are both essential and not without risk. The filming schedule of Glory was further complicated by night shooting and the huge number of actors. I have about a total of 32 stuntmen that's here tonight. That's a lot. All from Los Angeles, all Hollywood. Hollywood's finest. Group one, group two, group three! I had a friend, a, a writer, who told me when I was going to start working on this, he said, 
you have to be careful with the Civil War because you're you're taking something down from the altar and you have to treat it right. And for Denzel Washington, the historical implications of this tale were never far from his thoughts. Very few people know that it was a war that more Americans were killed than in the First and Second World War, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War put together. What time's coming when we're going to have to ante up? Ante up and kick in like men. Like men! Any picture about war, men coming together to form a unit uh, is, is a bonding scene. You are hereby awarded the rank of Sergeant Major. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Hip, hip! Congratulations. I ain't sure I'm wanting this, Colonel. I know exactly how you feel. The theme has most to do with dignity. A dignity that transcends race. And it has to do with uh, a number of stories of young boys becoming men. After the bonds of brotherhood have pulled them together, the men of the 54th Massachusetts Infantry are ready to prove their valor. That's right, Highlands. Ain't no dream. We run away slave, but we come back fighting men. Mayor, brave. You bell, 54. You bell. It's a very optimistic film because it shows how they, in spite of their differences, in spite of their hatreds, can come together and can stand as one.